Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you a palette that I curated. I call it the Moon Dial palette um, and I'll explain why. Up first I'll explain a little bit about how I came up with the idea for the, this limited palette. So uh, a few weeks ago I was looking for some different watercolours to experiment with. So I went rummaging through that box that we all have where we have colours where we haven't touched in a very long time and <laughs> um, we've basically forgotten about them. Uh, we purchased them and for some reason they didn't work for us at the time that we purchased them and we just left them and didn't revisit them. Well, I do that sometimes. I, I used to do that. Now I'm trying to remedy that and go through all the colours and try them again. Um, okay, so, and doing by doing that, I discovered uh, this colour, which is called, and you can't see it because it has had a wee operation on it, little operation where I had to open it because the colour went solid inside the tube. It's called Nickel, or rather Nickel Titanate Yellow and it's by Daniel Smith. And it's a beautiful yellow. It's a very creamy, beautiful, bright spring yellow. And I thought to myself, you know what, I love that colour and I would love to try and find a palette for it, a palette that it would sit in comfortably and create nice colours with the other colours in the palette. Um, if memory serves me well, I did have trouble mixing this colour. Maybe it's because it was so creamy and uh, kind of leans to towards being opaque. Um, anyway, so I started, this was my starting point. And I thought, well, hmm, looking at the colour, it's most likely I'm going to wind up with a spring palette. And no, that is not that what happened. I wound up with something totally different when I went um, down that road of trying to mix colours with this and find the other colours that kind of um, complemented uh, the nickel, nickel, is it nickel or nickel? Nickel, I'm going to call it nickel, nickel titanate yellow. Uh, no, I came up with a palette that was half spring-like and half other season like. So it was like I was painting the passing of time with this palette. And hence where the name comes from, which is Moondial. Now, Moondials are like sundials, only they are correct only once a month on the night of the full moon. That's when you can um, rely on a moon dial to tell you the time exactly. So I thought, hmm, that's actually quite quite apt because this with this very, very limited palette, I'm kind of travelling through the year. <laughs> the colours that it produces are from all the seasons. So I came up with the title Moon Dial. Um, that was a very long ramble and I hope it made sense. Um, but now I'll show you the other colours that I chose for this palette apart from the Nickel, Nickel, sorry, Nickel Titanate Yellow. I don't know why I call it Nickel. Um, Nickel Titanate Yellow. So with the Nickel Titanate Yellow, I chose Royal Blue which is PB60. This is a whole bane colour. For the red, I chose 
quinacridone cherry red and this is a Roman small colour. I have to say from the quinacridone corals that I've tri tried before, I haven't tried that many, but from the Daniel Smith, I think I prefer this one. And you were right because you pointed me in the direction of discovering this colour. I really, really like this colour and you can see that I've used half the half pan already. And in my box of forgotten colours, I found this very, very, very old, this elderly burnt sienna from Windsor and Newton. Um, I don't know why it was in there because I love burnt sienna from Windsor, uh, the Windsor and Newton one. But I thought, mm, okay, I'm going to try and use that. And the final colour, this is a colour that I think I mentioned in a previous video and said I need to find a place for it because it is a really nice colour. And I have. And this colour is called Graphite Grey and it is by Daniel Smith. Now I'll be sw switching, I'll be swatching all the colours for you on here. I've made this little um, like template for swatching. I'll be swatching all the colours. I'll write them on here for you so that you can see which ones I am using. And a little bit, not quite, but a little bit like the previous one that I did, the Forest Phase palette. I'm going to be swatching some oranges, greens and purples and so forth and doing some colour alchemy on this side with the graphite grey and also the burnt sienna. That was a very long introduction. Um, the paper I am using is from the Etcher sketchbook, watercolour sketchbook, the Etcher Everyday Watercolour Sketchbook that I'm using, which is 100% cotton, and it's lovely. It's I, I, I love it. This and the Hannah Muller I really love. And okay, so I think we're, we're ready to begin swatching. I'm very excited to show you the palette today. I really hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to begin swatching the Nickel Titanate Yellow. I really hate opening the tubes like sideways because it, I feel that I'm ruining the tube. But there was no other way to get this colour out of the tube. It just feels like, no, I don't want to do this. But I have to because otherwise I won't be able to get the colour out of the tube. I find that some colours go like really kind of solidify in their, their tube much more easily than others. Um, I don't know if this is the same, f this goes for the, for all the nickel titanate yellows or just for this one. That is such a beautiful, beautiful yellow. It's creamy, but not, not too warm. Much more on the cooler side. Beautiful, beautiful. Next, I'll be swatching the cherry red, the quinacridone cherry red by Roman Schmuel, that little treasure that you pointed me in the direction of discovering because it is beautiful colour. I find it more brighter and more alive than the Daniel Smith one, the quinacridone coral. Very, very pretty. Always is for me. It's always a treat to swatch that colour. Now I'm going to swatch Holbein's Royal Blue, which is, I think it's PB60. Let's be absolutely sure about this. 
Yes, it is PB60. Just one pigment, lovely blue, on the warmer side. I have seen PB60s uh, warmer than this, I think. I think I tried the Daniel Smith and the Windsor and Newton ones and they were a bit warmer than this, like darker and warmer. Maybe wrong. Now, Burnt Sienna by Windsor and Newton. I love the but Windsor and Newton's Burnt Sienna. I think it's the first Burnt Sienna that I ever used. And I've, I've you know, I attached myself to it. Other Burnt Siennas don't quite, <laughs> well, the other ones that I have tried haven't quite touched that spot of where Burnt Sienna, you know, is. I think the Windsor and Newton Burnt Sienna is my favorite. And then we've got the Graphite Grey, which is, as the name says, a grey that very, very close in colour to Graphite. So those are the, this is my limited palette. These are all the colors I'm going to be using to mix the rest. Now I'm going to start mixing orange. So I'm going to use some of my Crudonne Cherry Red. I'm going to mix that with some Nickel Titanate Yellow. Add a bit more yellow in there because I want to have more yellow in the first mix and then more quinacridone cherry red in the second mix. So I'm going to mix two orange colours. Oh, that is so pretty! That is so pretty. It's a very soft, soft orange. Almost a pink orange. Look at that, that is beautiful. So, so beautiful. I love my warm orange colors. Now, I'm gonna add more quinacridone cherry red now. So it's gonna become much deeper in color. Oh. Now this isn't quite orange, it is like a very deep orange pink, but it is beautiful. So it's not your traditional orange. It's just, it's a, it's a very, very beautiful colour. Reminds me a little bit of Windsor Orange Red Shade, I think. It's, those are lovely. I love them both. Now, moving on, I'm going to mix some greens. So, I am going to mix some yellow and some of that royal blue. And put a little bit more yellow. Yeah, there we go. And you 
get this beautiful creamy, creamy yellow, uh, yellowy green. It's beautiful. And now I'm going to mix, add, well, add rather a little bit more of the royal blue and yeah this may come as a surprise this color it becomes a turquoise turquoise green but it is beautiful I think, I personally think that's a beautiful colour. There we go. So we've done the orange colours. We've done the green colours. Now we're on to the violet colours. So I'm going to mix quinacridone cherry red with some of that royal blue. you can see that these colors so far <laughs> are very spring like so I thought I was going you know I was like oh yeah I was right but no <laughs> once another color is added no it all changes so um, I'm gonna add a little bit more quinacridone red Any bit more. There we go. There we go. That's the colour I was looking for. That's beautiful, beautiful violet. I love when colour combinations surprise me. It's just, it's such a lovely feeling. It's like, wow. <laughs> wow, this, you know, this interaction does that with that. Wow, that's just so, so interesting, so amazing. Yes, I am a nerd. <laughs> I'm a little bit, no, I'm, that's, that's not quite true. I'm very much a nerd. Not a little bit. I am quite, quite the nerd. I'm going to add more royal blue. And we get this beautiful violet colour. that leans towards blue because obviously I put more blue in it there we go Ooh. okay it's time for that wonky circle that I always managed to sneak in a little bit of a wonky circle there and now for the grey mixing so to mix the gut my greys, I'm going to use burnt sienna and royal blue. So I'm going to pick up some royal blue. And I'm going to add a little bit of burnt sienna. Okay, I think that's good. Just add a bit more water, I think. Yeah. With a good, good mix. And look at that grey, that is so pretty. That's such a pretty, pretty grey.
I love that. Okay, so which way should I go now? Should I put more burnt sienna or more blue in? I think it's only fair to put a bit more burnt sienna in because I think that's quite blue. So let's see what happens when, yeah, because they're very, very warm grey. Yeah, it's warm grey. So you've got your cool greys. Cool. This is warm. Very different. There we go. So we have mixed the orange, the green, the violet and the greys. And now we are going to move on to the next page. I will have to adjust the camera for this. So I'm back. I changed my water pots, put more fresh water in my pots, and I cleaned my palette, and I adjusted my camera. Oh, and I splattered my sketchbook, as per usual. Um, <laughs> so now this was the point that things started getting a little bit strange now when I started um, building this palette as you can see over here I'll just move this a little bit so you can see the colors so far if not spring like they would be summer like I mean these oranges are likely more summer like and these greens I mean could be summer could be spring but and then you've got these very very spring like colors very bright yellows the very um bright and vibrant uh pink so you're kind of going from like maybe spring summer and then here we go with <laughs> where things started getting a little bit strange so i decided to try something which i don't think i've ever tried before i mix the yellow with the burnt sienna and I mixed my nickel titanate yellow with the burnt sienna and I tried it and it felt counterintuitive to do a minute I'll just pick up some more put it over here so you can see what I'm doing it felt counterintuitive to do to mix a yellow and a brown but I was pleasantly surprised. I put some nickel titanate yellow and I put some burnt sienna. And I ended up with the colour that I will be swatching. Here. This is my first colour. Of this page I ended up with this creamy sand like color which I quite liked it's almost like a muted Naples yellow then <laughs> I went and took some burnt sienna and mixed it with some quinacridone coral. Oh, not quinacridone coral. I'm so used to saying that name. Quinacridone cherry red from Roman Schmoll. I'm going to add a little bit more. really good mix and this happened this beautiful terracotta red appeared and I'm like okay that that's very pretty as well I like that so you see you can see that this these aren't your typical spring colors 
I would say they touch more towards autumn. Um, then I began including the graphite grey. Started with my graphite grey, which is this. Put some on my palette. Enough of that. And I put some royal blue in there. I'm going to use a little bit more royal blue. That's okay. I'm going to add a bit more water so it doesn't come out too opaque as it's a dark colour. It won't come out on the well on the camera. And this beautiful, beautiful bluish dark grey happened and then I tried some of my graphite grey with some of my quinacridone cherry red which I'm gonna have to add an ample amount of because I think I put too much too much graphite grey in there a bit more cherry red let's see and you get this beautiful, almost Caput Mortum colour. Which is beautiful. More like the berries you would get in autumn. Those, you know, those very heavily ripened berries so so beautiful and I went with my burnt sienna I'm gonna go in with my burnt sienna now show you what happens when you put graphite grey in there so you can see the this palette is so autumnal totally totally different with just the inclusion of that one colour not even the inclusion these were already ha we had the burnt sienna in the palette put a little bit more burnt sienna there we go that's it and this is a very dark dark brown that's a beautiful brown so this is burnt sienna and the graphite grey this is what I love about limited palettes to be able to to have so few colours and to create this huge range of colors that I mean you would expect I would I would have definitely in my palette a dark brown because I use dark brown quite a lot in my painting but you can see I didn't even have one in this palette and but I do have one with just mixing those two colors as such a beautiful brown now I am going to do the three colour mix which is the nickel titanate yellow my mouth keeps saying wanting to say nickel nickel titanate yellow 
the royal blue and the quinacridone cherry red. So our three primaries. So I'm going to have to adjust here, yeah, the percentages of the colour. Maybe a little bit more yellow, teeny bit more yellow to get that colour. And you get this lovely grey, a lovely light grey. Look at that grey. That is beautiful. It has a little bit of separation. You can see like the quinacridone um, cherry red kind of separating I think from the, it could be from the royal blue, it could be from the, the more opaque nickel titanate yellow. That's just, that's so pretty though. I really love that. Um, and now I'm going to leave that mix. I'm going to put a little bit more of the cherry red and a little bit more of the blue in there because I mix this. This was a fail. <laughs> this was me trying to mix the grey and it came out so pretty and I thought I would really like that too to show you that colour. So this is the three colours but mixed together but more heavily on the uh, royal blue and the quinacridone red, um, quinacridone cherry red, sorry. You get this lovely, lovely lilac. So beautiful. So beautiful. Wonky circle, but very beautiful colour. And next, and the last one is I'm going to mix royal blue, nickel, titanate yellow, and graphite grey. What I was trying to achieve with this mix was a dark green. Let's see if I can achieve that. So I'm going to mix the those two together give it a good mix and just a touch of the graphite gray and see what this looks like Oh, that's lovely. That is lovely. It's a grey green. Beautiful. Wow. Now that that's finished, let me bring everything into focus. So, as you can see, now you can see what my thinking was that I was, that I said in the beginning that I felt that I was colouring in, I was creating the passing of time with this little palette because you've got these lovely bright colours here um, that's very spring-like and these are quite spring and summery-like and then you go on to these which is like very autumnal and these are very winter like so it was like it was amazing it was the um <laughs> the outcome of this palette was just i loved it i thought i really 
really would like to share it with you. However, I was, I, I really did want to make you um, to create a spring palette and I did begin starting the research on the spring palette. But I was so enthralled with, with this, this, uh, the mixing capabilities of these five colours that I thought I really want to share that with you because I was so excited. Um, so those are the, you know, this is the Moondial palette, the, the palette of um, the passing of time. I'll remind you, um, I'll just remind everyone what colours I used. I used Royal Blue, which is PB60. I used the my old Burnt Sienna from uh, Windsor & Newton. I don't think they have changed the mix. I don't think that it's a different Burnt Sienna they use now. I think it's the same, but please look it up. Um, I don't even know if this has an, I think it's PBR7. I'm pretty sure this is PBR7. So, and I used the graphite grey from Daniel Smith, which did find its palette. I'm so glad that that happened. I used these two little colours here, which is, I'll just put them in the wrong, in the right place there. So this is Daniel Smith's Nickel Titanate Yellow, and this is Roman Schmall's um, Quinacridone Cherry Red. I want to say Quinacridone Coral, but it, no, it's Quinacridone Cherry Red. Okay, so use the Daniel Smith colour. I hoped, I hope, just to clear everything, I hope that you enjoy this. Um, I absolutely enjoy loved every second of doing the research as I did love the last palette that I did very time consuming absolutely worth it I loved it um next week I don't know if I'm going to do my spring palette because I'm not quite satisfied with it um thing is I am missing some colors that I think would suit it and it's difficult to get colors so from various reasons so i'm going to i'm going to see what's going to happen if i don't manage the spring palette next week i'll probably share with you um as was requested by quite a few people my color books the books that i have on color all my color li library so i'll show you what i have um, collected through the years and maybe you could um, advise me on some new colour books that I have missed because I love colour books I, I read colour books like I'm just in one sitting I just adore them um, I before I go I wanted to say I was extremely touched and by everyone's pouring out of love in my about my um my my revealing my uh, multiple sclerosis diagnosis in my last video um it still feels very surreal to talk about it it still feels it was almost like if i talk to everyone and say it out loud to everyone on video it's going to be very real I don't know if that makes sense um I just wanted to thank you I wanted to thank you so so much for all the love all the messages I I was blown away I was in tears I was smiling and in, in tears not tears bad tears good tears um I, you know, I'm very, very grateful. I am so grateful to every single one of you. Um, and I am so glad to have you all on this journey because we are going to swatch some colours. We're going to we we're going to mix and swatch and celebrate colour together. Um, and 
I, I couldn't hope for better companions on this journey. Thank you. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so awkward bit at the end. If you like this video, please like the video. Um, really helps the channel grow. If you would like to w watch more videos from me and see more um, colour alchemy and I have some new exciting stuff that I can't say right now until they happen but will happen in the future I hope to uh, share with you and that would be great if you would love to subscribe it would be lovely please subscribe and hit the notification button and um, I, I love you guys thank you um, I am going to take these beautiful colours and I'm going to take them for a spin. I are uh, my um, Archer's watercolour paper and see what I could paint with these because I am definitely not putting these, I'm, I'm definitely putting these to good use. I'm not going to throw them away. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you next time. I love you all. Keep safe, keep creative, keep hopeful keep hopeful um and we'll i'll see you next week bye 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 for now bye